Hey guys, so I'm just about to get ready to dip dye my brown hair. It's too brown for my liking, so I wanted to get it more of a jet black type of color. So here I'm just showing you how brown it is. And yeah, I'm not really feeling that. And I had this hair for a while too. All I did was order um a closure just to put on top. And as you can see, I'm taking my got to be glued spray and just trying to protect the lace from getting colored jet black as well so here I'm just drying it and I did put like three layers just so it didn't penetrate the lace really and I think I did a pretty good job so here I'm just um, boiling some hot water and then I'm getting my mixture ready to dip my hair So I used the Adore colors. I had a little bit of Royal Navy left, so I put a little bit of that in there. And then I mainly used the blue black that I had in Adore. But I mixed them just so I could have that true blue black color and I really love how it turned out. So right here I'm showing you guys my bowl and my spatula or whatever brush. Um, I also used 20 volume developer and I used my BW2 to bleach my knots but I did that more towards after I was done dip dyeing it and as you can see here I'm just making sure I'm getting all of that color out because I didn't have that much color to work with and I had quite a bit of hair to color but y'all know the stores was closed so yeah I mean stores are still closed now but I filmed this like a month ago so yeah So I just let that hair sit in there for about 10 minutes just to make sure it got all of that color up in there. As you can see, there is a huge difference in the before and after. I'm so satisfied with what my results were. So definitely try this method, you guys. I had no idea you could color 1B hair or brown hair or do this method to color it. So if you haven't already, definitely give this a try. So I'm just getting my mixture ready to bleach my knots and you want to make sure it's super thick so that it doesn't go through your hair, if that makes any sense. Just make sure it's super thick, like a toothpaste type of consistency.
So I use my olive oil mousse just to get the hair super flat. And I try my best to do my baby hairs, but I don't normally do baby hairs on a closure. So this was like a first time type of thing. So don't come for me because I did not send for you. Okay. As you can see here, it was looking super flat and super natural. As you can see here, I was, I was feeling it, like, yeah, okay. Like, you see it, you see it, okay. And in case you're wondering, I did film this video a little bit over a month ago. This was the hair that I wanted to have for me to deliver my baby. And I did already have my baby. So stay tuned for my, I don't know, like story time on how it is. Because I didn't really do a labor. I didn't record my labor because I didn't want to. So I just go in with my water in my spray bottle with nothing else in it. And then I went in with my Garnier Fructis leave-in conditioner. I'm taking a little bit of this oil just to give the hair some shine and just focus that on the ends of the hair and scrunching the hair up. So at this point, my hair was in for about three, four weeks. So it was kind of old. And I already had my baby at this point. As you can see, I took these pictures on Mother's Day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!